here we have our uh, first time video. This is of a Hall Effect switch. We see up in the left hand corner that it's going along at about 225 hertz. And we can actually use the cursors to measure the hertz. Now remember, hertz is just an equation of 1 over time, and this is where our metric prefixes come into account. So I'm just going to hit the cursor button and it looks like it's set up as you can see on the screen to measure voltage because it's horizontally going here so we're going to change that and move it over here so now we can measure time we're measuring the time between the two cursors it looks like our left one is highlighted right here so I'm going to move that over here and we'll figure out all these move buttons and everything on our second meeting. And that looks like the beginning of the switch. Now frequency is a calculation of how many times a pattern repeats itself in one second. So let me move this other one. And as we measure the frequency it looks like we're exactly what we want to be. We want to be from the start of one to the beginning of the next and that's probably close enough. And it looks like we have 4.48 milliseconds. Now if we wanted to do the math on that we'd have to divide one into point zero zero four four eight because remember the metric prefix system if we divide one into four point four eight zero we're not going to come up with frequency our scope here some scopes don't have this feature but this one will measure the frequency so I'm going to hit the one over time button and you can see that the times one over time is right here so I'm going to hit this and it's going to tell us our frequency so it looks like we have 223 Hertz which is a pretty common you know frequency for something that's going around pretty quickly uh, I'm going to move the replay now I'm going to turn off the menu and we can see how we have that measured again we go from the beginning of one pattern to the beginning of the next. Now this is a frequency type pattern. It's not like pulse width modulation or duty cycle which can change over time. This one is pretty much just repeats itself over time. So I'm going to hit the replay button and I have the snap on waveform generator up to show a glitch and uh, I'm going to turn those cursors off for just a second clear the menu, go back to replay, and let's see if we can see the one where there was a, oh, as we see right here, we have a missing pattern, and that's where our glitch happened. Uh, our frequency has changed on this screen to 169.3 hertz, so you can imagine what that, what kind of havoc that would raise with a processor when it's expecting a nice smooth frequency to be delivered to it. I'm going to uh, exit uh, or exit this menu and put the cursors back up and we can actually see before I think we had 223 Hertz. Uh, I'm going to move the right cursor to the beginning of this pattern, switch cursors to the left one and let's move that to the beginning of this one and we can see our Hertz is almost cut in half just by the frequencies cut in half just by that missing pattern there so you can see how that could cause a hiccup if that was like the RPM uh, being received from a Hall effect on a crankshaft sensor or from any other thing even a mass airflow sensor that delivers a frequency to the processor or any input you know, frequencies buzzing along at 225 or so and all of a sudden jumps to 112 that's about half of what it was 
we'll continue on with our next video which is going to be to measure the switch time of an oxygen sensor from lean to rich and we'll have other videos throughout the class explaining how to use the cursors and what to look for remember if I play this back I'm going to clear the menu hit the replay button and then just press play and let me change the I guess I'm not going to be able to do that, but I was going to try to play it so you could watch the frequency change, but right now, oh, maybe if I turn off the cursors, let's try that. Turn off the cursors. Uh, off. Now let's watch the frequency up in the left-hand corner when I hit play, and you can actually watch, the, watch it uh, change as we're doing this. It was rather quick to see, but right there at the end, it actually will flash a different number. And if you're watching something like this, it's probably easier to watch the frequency reading up here and then watch it change. So we'll watch it, and I'll tell you about when it's going to happen. And right about now, we saw it flash, so that's telling us that we have a problem here. We'll see you on the next video.